Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Maggie. Well, this thing is like spinning out. <laughs> so today's video or vlog is gonna be prepping for Coachella. This is a big step from last year because honestly, last year I did not prep for Coachella at all. Um, if you guys were following me back then, you would know that Gretchen and I literally showed up to Coachella. We didn't even have our nails done. It was a mess, like we were not prepared at all so this year I'm like really preparing I have a nail appointment today I'm gonna get my eyebrows done kind of just to do all the little things to get ready for Coachella and I'm running a little bit late to my appointment now I'm actually waiting at Starbucks I just ordered my coffee online on my app oh I'm gonna run in and get my coffee and then go get my nails done aside from that I just wanted to give you guys a little intro bring you along with my day today and I'm gonna be getting all this stuff done so I hope you guys enjoy it it's gonna be super fun so let's go just got home from getting my nails done I actually got to have lunch with Tyler which is really nice um, because he is on lunch break from 12 to 1 so I got to like eat lunch with him and see him before I left even though I'm literally coming back from Coachella and him and I are going away to visit his brother like, with his family for Easter um, so anyway that is that and these are my nails they're like this pink glittery color you can't really see in the camera right now um, I don't know why it doesn't want to come up but they just look like this and I don't know the color I put it on my Instagram and I also have like a Instagram highlight where you can see the color like up close but I think they look really good they like sparkle and they're just like a rosy pink you know what they honestly remind me of which is funny, they remind me of the color of my Laneige lip balm, which a lot of you guys were asking me to give you a review of. I feel like I put it on my lips and then I need to keep like reapplying it. But other than that, I mean, I really like them. It's a great alternative to the lip mask because like you don't have to dig your finger in it. I don't bring that in public with me just because I feel like I would get really grossed out by having to like put my finger in it. Um, so I just keep it at home and wear it when I'm at home. But it's not as thick and sticky as the lip mask. But they're really nice. They still give you a nice gloss. And they don't tint your lips. I got every single flavor. So I have the grapefruit, which is really strong scented, which I like. It's like refreshing. But I feel like it's kind of overpowering. So this is my third favorite. The peach is my least favorite because personally, I don't think it has any scent at all. It doesn't even smell like anything. You put it on your lips, you can't even tell like what the flavor is. So those two are like my least favorite. Obviously, I love the berry one just because I love the berry lip mask. And this one, when you put it on your lips, kind of smells like bubble gum, which some people think that the like lip mask smells like bubble gum. So I never experienced that until I got this and yeah, kind of smells like bubblegum, but it matches my nails. And my favorite is the pear, just because it's something different and I'm not used to it. And I think it like smells like green apple. And I really, really like it. So yeah, they definitely don't like last as long as the lip mask would because like they're not as thick, but you can see like how glossy my lips are from it. And it doesn't make your lips like dry or anything. Um, they're still very hydrated. Really, really nice flavor with these two. Um, this one, not so much. And this one's just like really strong. But I still like it. So that is my take on the Laneige lip glosses. And I'm trying to get all my clothes together before I leave. Like the day before, the day before I leave. So instead of doing it the night before like I usually do, I'm doing it a day early and I'm gonna get all my clothes together right now and start to like section them off um, to see which clothes like I actually need to bring um, but I'm gonna just be bringing a lot just because staying in a house with so many girls I feel like it's nice to always be able to like switch out clothes and stuff and I know me Gretchen Natalie and Emma um, are gonna all be like trading off with different things so I just want to make sure that I have a lot of stuff just so we have like a lot of options so I'm just starting out right now this is all my stuff that I got from Princess Polly which I haven't showed you guys yet so I can show you right now but you can use my code festival Maggie for 20% off it'll give you such a good discount all my friends are always texting me and asking me 
what my code is because it saves so much money. You guys don't have to get festival items. I just shopped their festival shop, obviously, because I'm going to Coachella. So I got a few things. I got this dress, which is so cool. Um, I got it in a size medium. It's like a high neck crocheted maxi dress and it's so beautiful and also it came with a little pair of like high-waisted bottoms to go underneath so it's not see-through which i love that it came with that so now i only have to wear like a little bralette or something and then i also got this dress which is just a long maxi with these really really low straps this is a beautiful dress i got it in a size medium as well and this is gonna look really cute with this gold like chain link belt right here. I'm obsessed with that. So it can just like drape over and be like slouchy. And then I got these shorts, which I'm gonna wear on Sunday, I think. They're just these like high-waisted lace-up shorts and I got them in a size medium. I love the fit of these. I love that you can adjust the tie because it makes them like tighter around the waist. Um, which is really nice and then I think I'm gonna wear them with this bodysuit right here which I got in a size medium and it just has these really cool like disc things detailing with the cutout so this will look really cool together and then I just got two black bodysuits this one's like a satiny um, shiny black with some lace this is just a plain black lace bodysuit can really never go wrong with a nice plain black bodysuit they are staples and go with everything and then I also got this silky dress right here which just has like a leg slit this is gonna be super cute I love it with like the Doc Martens vibe and these are ones are platform so I'm really really excited um, that I got some platform ones because I have normal ones but just adding like the extra length is just gonna make your legs look so much longer so I really like these and then I got these cute little sunglasses with this nice chain on them um, just to add a little detail I want to show you guys what these look like on because I'm obsessed with the chain uh, and they're so much different than my hexagon Ray-Bans so you can literally whoa well I want to wear them like this and then have like the chain coming down in the front. I just think that like they're so cool. I don't know. I really like them and I like the shape of them. They're pretty wide. So they fit on me, which because I have like a round wide head. <laughs> so yeah, that's everything that I'm packing right now um, from Princess Polly. I have it linked for you guys. And again, you can use my code Festival Maggie for 20% off. You don't have to get festival stuff. Um, I know because not everybody's gonna be going to a festival. But obviously I'm just going to Coachella so I got some stuff from their festival shop. Their stuff is so cute, it's so trendy, um, on point. It's very neutral so you can like mix and match it with different things. That's what I'm gonna do. I got a lot of like basics so you can wear them different ways, pair them with different items, just like very good staples to have. So I'm gonna start like trying to get together some more clothes and just get them organized so it's out of my way. And I can like focus on like I don't have to be so like last minute and rush because that's something that I do when I travel I just take so long to like start packing and then at the end I just end up getting like really stressed out so I'm gonna put some stuff together and try to like get that big chunk of stuff out of my way for the day um, and then probably go get my eyebrows done because I don't know if you guys can tell they're like really overgrown underneath so yeah dinner I've had such a long day um, but I have an Ezekiel wrap with some mixed greens and then cucumber tomato and a Hillary's um, veggie burger that I just got from Whole Foods so super simple and easy to make and also I put some Dijon mustard too on the bottom but I'm getting like really into my health right now and kind of like my fitness and getting back on track because I feel like I don't hold myself accountable in traveling so much I feel like I'm not home as often and I can't cook for myself and I'm just eating out a lot and it's just been 
like taken a toll on me and I haven't been like as happy as I normally have been it's definitely because of like what I'm consuming and I've just been feeling really bloated so I'm actually working on something right now with this girl named Kenzie she's amazing she's really helping me like get back on track and holding me accountable and like we're gonna start working together um, really closely and she's gonna help me with like what I'm eating not necessarily that like I eat unhealthy right now it's just like the way my foods are being combined the thing is called food combining I'll go more into detail in a different video like this is definitely not the time to talk about it because um, I'm gonna be doing like a whole sit-down video with like what I do what works for me stuff like that and just like let you guys know but basically like certain foods like work well together based on like digestion and stuff which like causes bloating and I want to reduce that because I get bloated really easily so we're working together on that and yeah so obviously I'm leaving for Coachella and I just went to Whole Foods and I bought some groceries to last me tonight and then tomorrow just because I want to like use up everything and try to like cook and eat healthy before I go instead of just making excuses and ordering Uber Eats because I definitely could have done that but now I am holding myself accountable and I'm really excited just to share that with you guys. I just want to show you my dinner um, before I eat it. I also picked up some other things at the grocery store which I will show you. I'll actually insert a picture too right here of everything I got all together because I'm going to put it on my story but I got most importantly some immunity boost shots just because of traveling I have a nun tablet in here for hydration um, that I'm chilling right now and then I just got some fruit for tomorrow morning to have with some coconut milk yogurt and then I just got some hummus cut up all the veggies I had in my fridge um, got a cucumber but I cut up all my peppers like you guys saw and then the broccoli I'm gonna use up all this stuff before I leave and then I also just got some lemons for some lemon water in the morning. So yeah, that is what I'm up to right now. So yeah, anyway, I'm gonna eat dinner now and start getting ready for bed and I will talk to you guys. Guys, I've been running around like literally crazy woman today. Ugh, I feel like the day before trip is always so insane because like I know that I'm leaving and I've known for like a really long time and obviously like think about what needs to be done before but you don't realize until like the day before you go how much stuff like you actually have to do because like I can't get my eyebrows done a week in advance which I just did but I feel like all these last minute things that you need to like pack and get ready like you can't do it weeks before so it's kind of just like leads up to like the last day before you leave and then everything is just like jam-packed into like the whole entire day which is what like all of us are doing Emma's doing it like crazy Gretchen's been texting me she's like I'm running around like a chicken with my head cut off like everyone's just so busy but I just got my eyebrows in and I feel like they look really snatched you know <laughs> ew but um yeah I also got something that I'm really excited to show you guys I had to go to the bank and get a new card also because my account like got hacked when I was walking around um, New Gray Street with Tyler a few weeks ago somebody I think got my card you know how like when you walk by someone they can like detect your card with like those metal like machine type things I don't know I think someone like hacked my account and they tried to spend all this money at the store and they like called me and my bank did and they were like is this fraud so I was like yeah it is and then they canceled my account or like my card and then they just got a new card today and I had to like do all this work at my bank but it's so nice out also I'm like walking around and I look disgusting I haven't washed my hair yet today um, I'm gonna go put some dry shampoo in it because I'm going to berries with Emma but I'm wearing just like sweatpants and like comfy outfit and people like look at me like I'm crazy because I think I just rolled out of bed Oh my goodness, you guys. So I just got off a call. Oh, I want to show you my new water I'm obsessed with. I've been drinking this water right here. I can't remember if I showed it to you last night, but it's mineral water from Whole Foods. It's one of the things that Kenzie talks about all the time on her Instagram. Kenzie, my like health guru girl that I was talking about yesterday. But anyway, so I just got off of a call, like I was saying, and Emma's on her way to my apartment right now. We're going to go to Barry's, do a workout. That's at 520, and I think it's 4... Yeah, 424, so I have a little bit of time, which is good. I feel like I'm like shaking and going crazy, but I've started to 
Ugh, my couch is all weird. Um, I've started to kind of get all my outfits together for tomorrow, like I was doing yesterday, but this time I like actually tried them on and made sure that they look good. And my outfit, oh my God, for day one, you guys are gonna flip out. It's so good. I don't know if I can show you right now, cause actually you'll probably see this video. Either way, I'm gonna show it to you anyway. So this is my outfits. A little bit of what they look like right now. I still have some stuff over here that I need to get situated, but I have a ton of things laid out right now. I just got this cute top from Urban actually that I picked up and I think I'm gonna crop it. Um, just like a little distressed band tee. I think it, they would look really cute with these shorts or my Princess Polly ones. Um, these are just some Calvins. I got this for my skincare on the plane. So like my travel skincare is gonna go in this cute little neon bag. And then I got a nice coconut scrub for my body. And then I got coconut melt for like moisturizing. Got this little Kopari lippy thing, random. I don't even know why I got that. Um, and then I just have some sunglasses that I need to figure out if I'm gonna wear. But look at this bag that I just got today, guys. I am so obsessed with it. Like if you were to put me into a bag, it would be this right here. It's so small, it fits my camera, my phone, my cards, and my chapstick, and it's gonna be perfect for the festival. So I'm wearing this day one with these socks that I already had before, these sneakers, little outfit, and then these glasses right here that are so funny. I wanna show you them on me. Look, I look like a race car driver, but I just really like them right now. I like that vibe. I'm kinda of going for different vibes every single day. I have like that vibe. I'm gonna have a more girly vibe, and then I'm gonna have like a, I don't even know what the word would be, but like loose pants, Doc Martens, um, with a cool bodysuit type deal. So that's what's happening right now. Um, I probably should, Oh, start getting everything like together and put into my packing cubes because I know that after I get back from berries I am gonna be like so stressed because it's gonna be almost time to go to bed Oh, but our flight I don't think is until 8 tomorrow morning which would be good because I have some work I need to do on the plane and yeah so that's that that's the tea of the moment oh and I also got these sunglasses I want to show you we're gonna try them on really quick pair number one I wanna wear these with the Princess Polly shorts that are lace up on the last day, or I might wear these. I think that these are so cool. They're like orange aviators. So I have those and yeah, so this is what it is like getting ready for Coachella. It's so stressful. Like the most stressful weekend in my whole entire life, even though it like doesn't need to be at all. But I'm gonna go get ready for berries probably and get my shit together and then Emma's gonna get to my apartment so I will be right back. Also, someone's calling me. Here, everybody. Oh my god, happy <laughs> National Sibling Day. Is it really? Yeah. Emma! <laughs> happy National Sibling Wait, Day. Wait, we should like get dinner with Mike tonight. Oh my god, we should text him. Okay. Let's text him right now. Going to Berries though. Love you guys. XOXO. <laughs> Berries. I'm like so sweaty. We have a little squad here. You guys want to say hi? Oh, sorry. <laughs> These are all my berries. Oh, my berries. <laughs> my berries. Babe. That's cute. You guys are my berries. Babe. Rachel. What's your name again? Gavin. Yeah, I meet Gavin a lot, and we see each other at Soul Cycle, which is funny. Like I, like I see you guys everywhere. It's always at workouts from Boston, but they're so cute, and we all just do berries together, and it was so good. Hi guys, so we're back home now, showered, and we invited my brother over for dinner tonight because it's National Siblings Day, so we texted my brother to ask him if he wants to come over, so I'm just making a big salad. Cut up a bunch of peppers, cucumber, tomato, and then put a bunch of greens in there, and I'm gonna go and make a dressing right now. I have some lemon that I'm gonna use, and then olive oil, balsamic, and then add a little bit of salt and pepper just a super easy healthy dressing to put and yeah i'll show you guys what we have i don't know what my brother's bringing i know he's bringing some sort of like protein so this is my contribution to the dinner a big salad <laughs> It's so 
looking pretty clean, which I like love before I leave for a trip. And also I picked these up from Whole Foods for like a plain snack. I really like these. They're like my favorite crackers. So Emma and I got those. She's watching some Netflix show right now. And I'm just gonna pack all of my clothes up in my packing cubes because I'm pretty much done. Um, actually, I, I am done. And this is what everything looks like. So I'm gonna lay those out. And then I have all of my outfits right here. So I have like my sleep shirts, plain clothes for when I get off the plane. Once I get there, um, this is Monday's outfit. My red eye home on Monday, workout clothes, body suits, shorts, pants, random shirt, other outfit socks. And this is like my main stuff that I'm packing right now. And then I'm just gonna bring like a bunch of extra stuff that I have and put it in a different packing cube just in case like change minds about like outfits and stuff and then i have like all my underwear socks and then i'm only bringing two pairs of shoes with me i'm bringing my balenciagas and then doc martens so that is that of course i'm bringing my beats because i always wear them whenever i'm on planes they're like the best ever and then i just have like some accessories and stuff i'm bringing so many pairs of sunglasses bandanas jewelry my bag and then in here this is like the most satisfying part I got this little case from Forever 21 and it has all of my inflate essentials um, and just things that I'm going to be needing while I'm there. So I'm excited about that. Bathing suits to tear during the day, computer, I need to pack chargers and toiletries and then I'm done. I packed all my makeup and stuff. So I feel like I'm going to end off this video here because I'm all packed and ready to go. But I hope that you guys enjoyed this video, seeing what it was like to prepare for Coachella with me and make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss any of the Coachella vlogs. Um, I'm so excited to go this weekend. It's going to be a lot of fun. I'm excited to vlog every single day and bring you guys along. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love you and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.